true homie, dude. I hope Spooky is doing alright out there. You think he's doing this good because he's fighting consecutive Rashids? I think that might help. Uh, it could hurt you, but I think he's playing great. So I'm impressed. If she had a comboable overhead and V trigger, oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. She'd be Ibuki, right? <laughs> and now in V trigger. Walk under. Man, Capcom Fighters uploads pretty quick too. Look at this fireball, man. It does it all. It's really the cornerstone of this character. Because he gets to walk under and punish the landing frames. Yeah, that was a counter hit hit confirm. Now he gets his fireball store out. There's that buffer that I keep talking about. It's super, super, super good. This is probably one of the first things that you need to learn as a jury player, right? Stick out, standing medium kick. And look, look at this range where he hits it, right? If Rashid hadn't hit a button, he would have gotten the far medium kick, right? But because Rashid hits a button, you can see his crouching medium kick is coming out, right? He gets the close medium kick, which is special cancelable, and he's just buffering, and he gets the flip. I'll show this after the set. I'll show this after the set. I'll give you guys, uh, I'll show it in training mode so you can see how it works. Uh, you know, I think that having multiple of the same character in a row to fight against good reaction is, can be good or it can be bad, you know? Like, for some people it would be bad if their styles are super different. Uh, but I think Infiltration just picked up speed. And his play style is great when he's got the momentum. That's good view reversal. Her V-Trigger Fireball is even better than the regular Fireball because you can cancel it off of stuff like Sweep and then it gives him time to jump in after. If he didn't V-Reversal there, it would have been tough. See that? See that that escape right there? This is the kind of stuff that she can do in V-Trigger that's really hard to deal with. Since he has V-Skill stored, far medium kick Fireball, and then when he jumps back, he gets to chase with V-Skill. Super good. You need all these little, you need to know how to do all these things to play Jury well, right? Damn, the surprise. Oh, it's not safe. I think he thought he was going to build V-Trigger, or uh, CA. Good snipe. Ah, oh, okay. So he didn't end up even having to spend the meter, but damn, that was scary. Yeah, it can, it can misfire on you. That's standing medium kick buffer. It sometimes doesn't work, but it's there's the ranges you can hit it where it's a pretty safe. Wow, that was crazy! I can't believe that hit. Yeah, see, okay, this is a great example. Great example. Great example. We saw this exact thing earlier, right? He hits standing medium kick here, right? He shoots the fireball, standing medium kick. Notice how if his crouching medium kick had been like one frame faster, this would have hit and he would have been able to cancel, right? But because the standing medium kick goes all the way out first. He's not able to cancel this. You know he was buffering into pinwheel, right? This is definitely going to be a pinwheel. But the full standing medium kick hits first. So it's not cancelable, right? So that's the way this character... That's how this buffer works. It's a really strong tool for sure. Uh oh, that, that I think that could have been punished worse than it was. But it's not the end of the world. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes up stuff to block. You can't blame the guy. It's super fast left or right. Got him. And he's dead. He doesn't have to spend any meter. It's good work. Her crouching medium kick low profile is lots of stuff. If that's what you're talking about, I'm not sure. Oh, you're talking about Rashid's crouching medium kick. Yeah, it also low profiles lots. These are two of the lowest crouching medium kicks. The store is negative, so he just backdashes after. He's got V-Skill. Yep. Surprise V-Skill is really powerful, honestly. Okay. He finally challenged with the EX Uppercut. Rashid, I feel like when he has the EX Uppercut, it's rough because he wants to... Excuse me? He wants to spend that on EX Tornado. That was a crazy choice. Down jab. Her V-Reversal is slow, slow that he gets to throw it. Wake up. Pinwheel beats the throw? Did he miss time that? Or is that legit? I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, got him. Oh, man. It didn't reach this time. Yeah, the jump the jump forward strong. He's used that a lot. Light kick pinwheel is throw invincible. Really? So you can use it to get out of throw loops? I've never... Ah, that was one of the first times the stand medium kick buffer has not worked. He was a little too close. 
right? And so this is punishable, but Gotchkin missed it. I thought the commentary for this tournament was fine. Uh, it was nice and it was okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I thought the the Street Fighter and the Tekken commentary was cool. There's that Sam Medium Kick buffer again. The fist bump. Interesting, huh? So, yeah, I think Rashid wins this matchup. For people asking. I think he does, yeah. He probably has the advantage. Uh, like a, an advantage against her. It's not, the, it's not a miserable match, but... Yeah, I think she has the uh, he has the advantage. That's interesting. I didn't realize that her light kick DP was throw invincible. It's a good choice. Jury secret top tier. All right, everybody relax. What what a good pickup. Back roundhouse. Yeah, back roundhouse special cancelable on both hits. I think pretty sure. Guilty Gear was tight here though, right? That uh, Zato player they had was pretty sick. Plus three ten is fun to watch. Oh, where's the uppercut this time? <laughs> Bufflora, Nerf Jury, you're right. You're right, I forgot. Back throw this time. He's gone low a bunch after that. He's, he's doing a good job mixing up his options. He's got the uh, V-Skill stored now. I wish there was an indicator for that, but I guess you just have to sort of remember. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that, but Knuckle Dude did announce that. Activate the V-Trigger, it's plus here. He's dead in one hit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Goes low, good blocks. His V trigger is almost gone. Knuckle do announced that he's all the prize money he won at DreamHack Montreal. He is donating to the Hurricane Fund. Ch Chip is a problem if he spends. I guess he has V reversal, right? But he's got to be careful. He's getting close, and he's pursuing a little hard. That throw would have killed. Teching there is dangerous, but you have to. Yeah, stand medium kick, man. Stand medium kick is such a good button. Crush, uh, crush, crush counter out of the air is actually not that bad for your opponent as Rashid. Jury V trigger allows her to chain her. So when when Jury is in V trigger, she gets the ability to cancel her normals into each other. So she can do like light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, and she can also cancel her normals into any of her stores, right? So without having to charge. So the fireball or the overhead or the roundhouse store, all those she can cancel into. Uh, so she doesn't need to uh, store. So she can Gatling her normals, chain them into each other, and she can can special cancel into her special moves without needing the charges. It's pretty important. It makes her pressure and her ground game more dangerous because her standing medium kick becomes special. That button becomes special cancelable. Man, that fireball is so effective. <laughs> it's probably his best chance at surviving here. Can't chain in overhead. Yeah, there are certain rules about the chain. Uh oh, he missed his cancel. Because infiltration V-reversal and she only has 950 life, it's pretty unlikely to get another V-trigger. Yeah, the, the overhead looking move doesn't hit overhead. You're right. Overhead. That's the real overhead. He waited. This is a good example of how to do this. So when you're going to do something like this, you don't do it on like the first possible instance. That's a little too obvious. You have to wait like a split second, right? See how long he waited there? If you do it right away, it's very obvious and people will react. But he waited just long enough that he wasn't ready for it. Who's stronger, Punk or Do? It's interesting. Punk's results are a little better lately, but he goes to more events. Knuckle Do has gone to less events, but he's had good results too. The last time they played, Knuckle Dude beat him. Yeah, Knuckle Dude played great today, honestly. That tournament was fun to watch. I'm sad about Nemo, but you know. No uppercut. That, that kind of loss on the uppercut is what causes this match to snowball pretty bad. You have to be very careful, right? One missed anti-air means that you're in the corner here and you're in a super bad spot. He spent a bar on V reversal. Yeah, there's a good jump in. That's the kind of momentum you lose from one missed uppercut, which is really unfortunate. 
Against a character like Rashid, it's so hard because you have to hyper focus on the ground to try to whiff punish him. But his air approach is so good. So he can chain here. See, roundhouse is cancelable. That's not a frame trap. Roundhouse into low fireball is not a frame trap. If you do that, the heavy store, then it is. The heavy fuha or whatever it is. So yeah, we'll see if if he chains some stuff. Yes. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he missed it. Well, two throws in a row. If he chains some stuff, I'll show you the V trigger back throw. That's a legit throw loop, but hard to do. Takes his V skill store. One thing to keep in mind is that you you um uh oh. With the V skills, you can snipe a lot of stuff. That was a clean anti air. Yeah, two button anti air, half screen. This is a really good choice. I don't know. Jury's a weird character to buff. Maybe make her V trigger last a little longer. Make her medium kick uh, store an overhead. That'd be pretty buff. It's already it already beats throws. That that change alone would make her really really strong. Oh, he could have. He could have. Did he call it the Great Wall of Opa? Holy shit. He could have uh, punished a little better, but I don't think he was ready for the flip out. He had already committed to the jump before the flash. Two bar V trigger would be big. Um, okay. I wonder if he did that because he just wanted to escape the corner or if that was intentional. Wow, that was. Man, he stayed solid. Yeah, that's not going to work. Well, it sort of worked. I don't think it should have worked. Right? I wonder if he just did a V skill on the ground, because it's projectile invincible. He might have gotten through. So it worked kind of. Oh, God. I think if he just rolled, he might have been okay, but I don't know. It's hard to tell, right? Dang, ex stock, ex store allows allows him or her to get all of it. Well, the problem is she has already has an input there, so it would overlap, and she would lose a move that's pretty important. Oh, punish! There you go. He missed that last time, so that's that's good that he realized it. Like he obviously knows how to punish it, just, you know. It just in the heat of the moment it can be hard. Wow, standing jab trade, huh? He can get a juggle here. Oh no. That's super unfortunate. That's something that Rashid used to have way more trouble with in season one, but they kind of fixed. Wow, he went low. That was a clean block. If he gets clipped by a buffer and a pinwheel and a CA, he's dead. <gasps> Wow, that block was really, really good. But yeah, he still gets clip low. That's a reset. 3-0. Gotch Kuhn with a little smile and a nod. He's like, all right, all right, all right. Then the chant for him. Infiltration wants a second to think. Wow, he picked up the monster can on camera, huh? He's like, all right, let me make sure everybody sees what I'm up to. Second set, second set. Jury in general is not a very popular character, right? I mean, for a couple of reasons. A lot of the DLC characters are less popular than uh, the original characters. But um, I call I call flip kick the, the, the flip. The Hazanshu. I don't know the move name. I don't know the name for the move. And I call it, wow, that was good. Good answer. here. And uh, I think that's what he tried the other round, right? Damn, he did meaty fierce. <gasps> Infiltration. That was a clean block. He really just wanted a V reversal to get rid of stun. Wow, that's not airborne. All right, this is getting wild. This is getting wild. Oh, man. It got wild. Ryo Don Satsu. Yeah, I mean, just all right. That was a clean Ryo Don Satsu. Yeah, I call it uh, the flip kick. Oh my God. 
is the the one where she flips in the air, and uh, I call her pinwheel a pinwheel. I like that activation. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Oh, gone. Yeah, he's not dying to mix-ups. He's dying to, like, screen control. You know what I mean? He's just dying to infiltration, controlling the screen, and he's having trouble establishing what he wants. Wow. That was a lot of offense. It didn't lead to too much... D oh, shit. Yeah, that's not real, but... It happens. It happens. That's a... Damn, he almost got a punish. She's fast. So, Infiltration's been doing this a lot, right? Dash up at the throw is not... This is not a real thing. He could wake up like kick. But, crushes him. I'm pretty sure he tried to throw. Right? That's what I would expect. He saw the dash and he late teched. Yeah, it looked like he's teching there. DLC characters in general tend to be less popular than the normal cast. And if a character is weaker, they tend to not be played as much. I feel like, but yeah. Hmm, he was holding up there, or he was stand blocking, I guess. Fireballs, key blasts. You're right. Move names, move names are not always important. In fact, I like using generic terms. Punish that. I like using generic terms because I feel more people understand them than the move names itself. If I start saying move names, lots of people will be like, "What the fuck is that?" But I'm like, "All right, Jury's got Fuha here. We'll see if how she utilizes it in the matchup, or if." Wind shot will be too effective to stop it. You're gonna be like, what the fuck does that mean? This guy is, this caster is too pro. Right? No one knows what those things are. Hey, he is dead. This is actually one of the strongest things I, ha I think she has, right? Crouching medium kick, pinwheel, CA. I'm a pro esports caster. I know all every spell. I know every spell in the book. I know multiple spells, in fact. Yeah, if you know all the move names for Karen, uh, we're probably not friends. Right? I think generic terms are much more in a game in, a, in something like a fighting game. I think generic terms are much more valuable. Oh, that was an interesting idea. Pinwheel, huh? He just shoots fireball here and then V skill stores. If he rolls backwards, he gets more time to, to charge, though, right? Karen's got the wind god fist, of course. Can I explain how the V skill store works? Yeah, I can. Next time he does it, I'll, I'll look at it. At Satan, you are not a pro esports caster. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing is that when people type Sajam, it auto corrects to Satan. Did you know that? Someone tried to type to me in, in our group chat when we were in Japan, and Sajam auto corrects to Satan all the time. It's crazy. This happens all the time. That is not the first time I've seen that autocorrect. In fact, it's I've done it myself. I've typed my own name and it's autocorrected to Satan before. It happens a lot. I don't know why, but that's just what it goes to. <gasps> that was definitely a wake up uppercut. This right here is for sure wake up uppercut. Yeah, I could have a Sage Am Satan emote. Look, if you have emote requests, 
take them over to uh, Magic Moss. And I'm going to take my time adding new emotes now because I have a new subscriber to the channel. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. I, uh, I have some new emote slots that I should probably utilize. Dark, dark segues, Jesus. I don't love jump back as an option against Tornado. It loses to a lot of choices, but it worked out there. Yeah, Hervey Reversal, man, it's not... Yeah, Wake Up Pinwheel Throw Invincibility is really interesting. That combo. Yeah, the uppercut again. Infiltration's playing great, honestly. Overhead to close it out, yeah. He's playing great, dude. I'm really impressed, honestly, with how he's adjusted, and the fact that you can play Hit and Run against Rashid, who's a character who really doesn't give you space, and when he takes space from you, he's, like, super dangerous, so, yeah. He fall. He subbed and then he followed. That's a true homie right there. Yeah, a lot of people are subbing right now with Twitch Prime or using the September stuff. Thanks, man. That's super kind of you. Walk under. We, this is exactly how he started the set, right? Is he had this fireball from the corner, and look what it does, right? Just one fireball can change the way this match goes because he allow he gets to walk under. Then he franchises with back fierce or back uh, roundhouse. It's super good. That's how strong her fireball is. Yes, he gets the combo off of that. He actually could be... No, he's not dead, right? Oh, the reset. I think you guys overrate Rashid. Nah, man. Rashid is an incredibly strong character. Just because uh, Infiltration is playing well here does not mean the strength of the character he's fighting against is questionable, you know? He goes for media that time, but he gets air reset. He really wanted to stop probably the pinwheel since he's woken up with it a few times. Oh, good block. That was crazy. It was real dangerous to deal with. And man, I'm in danger of uh, going full esports. All the subscribers here make me feel like I should be a pro esports streamer. Thanks for the sub, man. That's very kind of you. He just needs one good hit now. Oh, I thought he was going to let it go. Actually, I don't think it would have clipped, right? Oh, he's getting counter hit a lot. Uppercut hit? Oh, God. Overhead. Oh, my God. I can't believe the uppercut hit right here. Look at how high he was. He neutral jumped to beat it. I think, even though it didn't work, Gotchkun had a good idea. I think his idea, even though it kind of didn't work, was a good idea. And then look right here. His overhead goes over crouching short. See that? It just flies over crouching short. He does it pretty late. I guess, is it not active yet? It looks like it should be, right? Yeah, that was a good reaction to it. It's a good day to uh, stream, I guess. Up you with the sub on Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Man, you guys are wild. How many subs have I gotten today? I feel like it's... I've gotten almost 10, 10 subs already from you guys. Only been streaming a little bit. That's kind of you. Infiltration. Oh, Infiltration's a gangster. Did you see... I know this guy's been coming to an America for a while. I could tell. Did you see how clean this was? Comes up, hits him. You see how solid the grasp is? Pulls him in. This is good execution. That's good execution. Right here, boom. Snaps to the next one. Solid execution. Boom, again, a third one. Three in a row? You didn't mess up a single one? That's pretty good. That was quality. Yeah, that was good. How is his handshake after he wins? I didn't see that. That's probably worth looking at, right? How did, how did, did he hit it clean? Solid handshake. Yeah, he, he played great here. I love the handshake. I love the handshake execution. That's 6-0 infiltration. Goes to the crowd. It's a high... Oh! Infiltration is ridiculous. This is definitely a high five. Look at the way he's holding out his hands. And I got to hand it to Shrimpy. Hit me with the 499 sub at the perfect po point. He wanted to see this, right? He definitely is going for a high five. Look at the angle on that palm. He's going for the high five. This is a high five. You can clearly see. High five. But when he recognizes here that the angle of approach from his this guy in the crowd's hand is for the hip hop hug, he adjusted and then pulls it in, that was pretty good. Then, he goes for a handshake, it looks like, recognizes, adjusts the grip. That's fighting game reactions, if I've ever seen him. You see that? 
Boom, brings it in. Now he recognizes the scenario. He realizes that the locals prefer this kind of handshake. You see what I'm saying here? He recognizes that the locals enjoy that handshake. He goes for the handshake, boom, adjusts it. That's good. That's solid. That's adaptation. We saw the same kind of adaptation in Grand Finals, right? That was really good. I'm impressed.